So Deji just came out with a video titled Bye, and he kind of quote unquote exposed KSI. And right now Deji is gaining subscribers while KSI is losing subscribers, but there are definitely some valuable lessons that we can all learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so just to give you a quick recap of what's going on, I know people like PewDiePie have already touched on this and some other commentary channels. Um, but anyways, KSI and Deji, they're brothers. They're both from the UK, you might remember them, from their brother's boxing match with Logan Paul and Jake Paul, all right? But anyways, Deji just came out with a video, um, basically, you know, talking about a lot of stuff that he's been dealing with, with KSI, who's his older brother. And I think a lot of people out there who are a sibling, like the younger sibling, can definitely relate to what Deji's talking about. And there's a few things that I hope everybody can take away from this situation. All right, so the first thing I wanna address is like, it's, it's awesome that Deji came out and he talked about this stuff and got vulnerable. Like, when I was watching it, like when I was watching this 45 minute long video, I'm like, dang dude, because especially when it comes to like men, right? Like, it's, it can be difficult to open up about your feelings and you know, and talking about the things that he's talking about, like his older brother bullying him and things like that. Like I'm sure there are some crappy, nasty comments on that video, even though it's largely had a good reaction from the community. I'm sure there's some people out there who are just like, man up bro, man up. You know what I mean? And like, it's it's really awesome that Deji like got vulnerable and was able to do that. And if, if any dudes out there are watching this, like I hope you can see other men doing stuff like this and know that it's like, yo, it's okay to talk about how you're feeling, all right? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is like, when, when people were like requesting me to talk about this and I was like looking at the situation, looking at the community's reaction, looking at KSI losing subscribers, looking at all the crazy stuff that KSI has been posting on Twitter. And like, the other thing that's interesting is that if you check out his social blade, like usually what these numbers mean is that he's been deleting videos. So I'm wondering what that is and what which videos they were. Like my guess is that they're like videos of KSI bullying Deji. But anyways, like I wanna talk about the community. I wanna talk about you, baby girl. Like, is anybody really surprised? Is anybody really surprised? Like, did it really take a 45 minute video from Deji for everybody to be like, oh, you're right, KSI is a dick like this dude has built his entire brand off of being a dick all right so i'm a little confused because this dude got to 20 million subscribers and this is like his entire brand like he started out on youtube and deji showed clips of this in his video of him like you know, hitting his brother and doing these little like, you know, gaming contests and everything. But KSI has had his share of controversies over the years and how he talks to women and things like that. And now all of a sudden everybody's like, oh my God, like we're so surprised that this information is coming out. Like really people, like I think what we need to do as a community and as a society as a whole, like why, why are these type of people being propped up? Why does it take so long for somebody to make a video like this, then everybody realizes what's been happening all along. Like, this is just something that I always think about. Like, everybody's okay with something until they're not okay with it, right? Like, why did it take Deji making this video for people to open their eyes? Like, everything that Deji's talked about, except for a few things, were public knowledge. Like, everybody's seen this, everybody has seen KSI's videos like hitting Deji. Everybody has seen KSI's videos like telling people to unsubscribe from Deji. Like these are all things like, and this is why independent thinking is such an important thing that we all need. Like it, it's something that Deji touched on. He talked about like this kind of like subliminal messaging and like manipulation, which I agree, it is definitely manipulation. Like getting people 
to unsubscribe from Deji and saying, look, here's what I'm doing. You wanna be cool like me, KSI? Then unsubscribe from Deji as well. But like, this was all public knowledge, everybody. Like, open up your mind to say like, wait, like, no, maybe I like Deji's content. But that's the other thing, when all this like kind of drama happens, you start to see people unsubscribing and subscribing over here and things like that. It's like, it feels like, in the YouTube community, we're no longer in a place in these cases where people are subscribing to somebody because they actually enjoy their content. They're, they're like subscribing out of support or unsubscribing to show that they don't support somebody. And that's just something very fascinating to me as I kind of watch like the behavior of people in the YouTube community. But anyways, some things that Deji talked about like, there are some things that have been, you know, offline and things like that. And one thing that Deji talked about was very reminiscent to the Logan Paul, Jake Paul situation was that Deji, you know, was, uh, you know, attracted to a young woman. Um, it's not clear, you know, how the, the extent of their relationship was, but then Deji, um, not Deji, but KSI hooked up with her. And Deji talks about how he cried for days and that was like, one of those, you know, one of those things that just was like a stab in the heart, like having your brother like sleep with somebody who you fell in love with, right? But again, like, I think it's really interesting looking at the the relationship between Logan Paul and Jake Paul, and then looking at the relationship between like KSI and Deji. And, you know, when I, when I look at these situations, like I have a son, he has a, a little brother, uh, not my kid, but my son's mom had another kid with her new husband. And I look at this and like, they're both boys and I understand, you know, boys are gonna do certain things and you know, you know, whatever. But like, there's, this is definitely an, uh, an instance and you know, the Logan Paul situation with Jake, where like that friendly competition like goes way too far, like way too far. And just like ways that you should not treat a family member, right? And if you're somebody who's in this situation, not, it's, it's not about a family member, hooking up with somebody, you know, you were in love with, but like, it's important to know that you can set boundaries with your family members. Like you don't have to hang out with them. You don't have to talk to them on the phone. You can tell them straight up like, hey, listen, like, I do not appreciate the way that you talk to me. I don't appreciate the way that you treat me. No, I don't wanna hang out with you. Like, this is something that all of us can do. Now, it's easier said than done, and a lot of us, you know, we, we have concerns like, oh, but it's family, so this, this voice in our head says, we have to hang out with them, or we have to talk to them. Like, my message to anybody who has that voice in the, their head, like, the hell you do, if it is affecting your mental and emotional well-being, no. No, you don't. Like, yeah, it might make some family functions have one less person there, but we need to prioritize our mental and emotional well-being because if we're not in a good space, we are more likely to maybe have an argument at you know some like family dinner, start a fight. We can't be of use to other people in our lives because we're letting that toxic behavior into our lives. So we have to be able to set up those boundaries. The last thing that I wanna talk about, and this is the situations I, I referenced in my Thomas Halbert video, is more and more we are seeing YouTubers who are attaching their self-worth to the numbers, right? To the subscribers, to the viewers. And Deji talks about how he got into a dark place and was questioning like his purpose and talking about how depressed he was and the possibility of just ending it all. And that is so, so, so sad to me, right? Because like, this is, this is a bigger problem than just YouTube, but now we're seeing it in the public spotlight. Like so many people, when they lose their job, they wrapped up so much of their identity with that job. So when they lose that job, right? They, they no longer find this meaning or purpose. And that's why we need to find like our own purpose on this planet that has nothing to do with our job. Our job is a part of us, but it is not us. You know what I mean? And I really hope people are monitoring what is happening with YouTubers because if something's not done or if YouTubers don't start realizing how it is affecting their mental health, like, I fear that we're gonna see some really tragic things happen 
in the next year or two. So at the end of the day, like I'm, I'm proud of Deji for making that video, but like, if you know me, I think everybody needs therapy. So like, if you can relate to this, like, I hope you get therapy. Family therapy is an option. Like Deji and KSI and their parents are heavily involved. Like hopefully they go to family therapy. Family therapy is so beneficial because you get an outside perspective on the situation. You get somebody who's coming in and they will teach you ways to communicate with one another. They will teach you ways to set up boundaries with one another. Hell, you know what would be a sick series for Katie Morton? Start doing family therapy for some of these YouTubers out here who are just in constant conflict and starting beef with each other because we've gotten to a place where things can't even be settled offline even anymore. Like. They're all happening in front of all of us. So if we're watching this thing, we need to take something away from it. So if you're struggling with family, like here's my recommendation. See if your family would be open to getting therapy, doing family therapy. But something I was taught a long, long, long time ago and it has stuck with me and I hope it sticks with me until the day I die. And it's this, it is a lot easier for us to fix ourselves than it is to fix other people. And what that means is, although other people in our lives may not wanna fix things, they might not wanna change, they might not wanna do family therapy, we, we can take action. We can take the steps towards getting better. So although they may never change, we can begin working on how we react and respond to those situations and how those situations affect our mental health, all right? but. My suggestion to you, if you can relate to any of this stuff and you're dealing with these toxic family situations, like talk to your doctor, see if they can recommend a therapist. Talk to your insurance company, see if they can recommend a therapist. Talk to family, friends, see if they, they're working with a therapist that they think you might like as well. Um, I personally use BetterHelp Online Therapy. They help support this channel. I have an affiliate link down below. So if you would like to do online therapy, go ahead and check it out. Like it's pretty affordable. So basically, Basically what an affiliate link does, if you sign up, it helps support the channel as well. I've been using it most of this year so far, and my therapist is the bomb. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below. Let me know if you've had to set up boundaries with a family member or even a friend in your life because it was drastically affecting your mental health. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge Huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get access to our monthly Q&A and all that good stuff, click or tap right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.